Hi, welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. This video is looking at a very simple type of probability density function called the rectangular distribution. Um, now we're going to formalise what this looks like so you can see how it officially looks, but it's actually a very simple one to think about and a lot of the time you could probably work this out without needing the formal um, representation of it. But I'm going to take you through that. So this is where you have a constant probability across a given interval. So, for example, the hour in which a clock might stop. You could also have things like the probability of rolling each number on a fair-sided dice. Um, that probability stays the same. So you would get that constant probability throughout each of the intervals you would um, think about. So the hours that a clock might stop in, you've got 12 of them. So you'd have a twelfth for any given hour, from the first through to the twelfth hour. Now how this looks on a graph would be something like this. So you've got the probability, it's running between the first and the twelfth hour, that stays as a constant of a twelfth no matter where you are within that interval. It's going to be that constant of a twelfth. Now you should know already that um, the area under a curve for a probability density function always gives you one because the total four probabilities have to add up to one. Anything outside of this rectangle would have a probability of zero. It can't stop anywhere outside of the first to the twelfth hour on a clock. So the general rule for this, we can assign some algebra to it, and this is what it might look like if you were looking it up on your formula sheet. So A and B are the beginnings and ends of our interval, so the A being at the start and B being at the end. Now since this is a rectangle and that area has to make one, if we find if we want to find the area um, to give us our probability, then the base times the height has to make one for a rectangle. So if we want that probability there, we'd do one divided by b minus a, because b minus a multiplied by that height, in this case a twelfth, would have to make one. So let's have a look at a question. For example, what's the probability that it stops within the second or third hour? So we've got um, two possible places it can stop. So there are two hours that we're looking at, and each of those would give us one of these little strips that's a twelfth um, high. And since we've got two of them, and each of them would make a twelfth, we add them together and it'll be two twelfths which simplifies to one sixth. Nice and easy to do. Um, the simplest of the probability density functions. Um, if this helped you out, you probably want to go and look at um, some other videos like the triangular distribution and the normal Poisson binomial. So check out my channel for those and do me a favor and hit that subscribe. Thanks.